Well guys, I am seriously not very good at living up to my promises. I say I'm gonna upload more, but I don't. Sorry. So guys, Minecraft 1.15's out, and it has brought- it really hasn't brought all that much, has it? But it has brought my new favorite mob in Minecraft, and yes, these little guys, the bees, I love these things. They're my new favorite, well, animal slash mob, because they can be hostile. I mean, they're a mob anyway, because they have a small egg in here. Um, but today, I'm going to be covering three bee farms from Do It All Yourself, to the semi-auto, to the fully auto bee farm, and I say we get right to it. So the first bee farm I would like to cover is the U-Scoop Honey Honeycomb Farm. I call this U-Scoop because, well, you do everything yourself. So if you go inside, um, you just get my toolbar back up, you can grab a bottle, you can grab shears, you get a bottle, you get honey, or a honey bottle, and if you use shears, you get honeycombs which you can use to make bee hives. This is a nest. You can use to make hives. But you do everything yourself. You can decorate this a lot better than I have. You see, I've put um, honey blocks everywhere and honeycomb blocks everywhere. And three trees, you can just have one. It doesn't matter how many trees you have, as long as it works for you. I mean, you can just, for all I care, you can just build a glass case around a place with a bee hive. Unless you have silk touch, then you can bring this home. It's not the most efficient, but like you can, if you have bees, you can know that you're going to have honey. I don't even know what I just said. Let's just move on before I get too out of whack with this stuff. So moving on from the U-Scoop farm, we are going to have the semi-automatic farm, which is just over here. There we go. Semi-auto honey and honeycomb farm. Now, all of these lamps are supposed to light up to show you that all the hives are filled, but this one right here has been giving me trouble. Bees go into it, but not very many. So if we hop around to the side, we can see all this redstone work over here. But you can also see the interior. This is basically the warehouse. You have a little space for bees up here, just for detail. I actually haven't seen one go up here. I don't think I have a bee in the inventory, do I? See, we can fix that now, because now we have three bees up here that are going to get some nectar, pollinate those flowers, and make honey. Now, if you guys didn't know, Beehives and bee nests give off comparator signals based on the amount of honey they have in them. This is a honey level 5, and this is a honey level 3. You can tell their honey level by pressing F3 and just looking at it, and boom, in the middle right says honey level, right there. But you can also tell the honey level by putting a comparator next to it and seeing how many redstone blocks it flows out. So this is level 3, so it flows out 3 blocks. This is level 5, so it goes all the way out to the 5 blocks, powering the lamp. And three blocks doesn't go to four or five, so the lamp's not powered. And yeah, we might want to fix that, but there's not enough honey in here. Like, because over here, it's basically just the same thing. I don't know why the bees like this one more, but it's just that way. Now, a look at the redstone. It's actually very simple. All these are real simple. Um, basically, you just have a lever powering this right here. About a four tick delay. If you go down here, it's a wool track. It leads down here. Now there's a redstone torch powering this piston. If a block runs into the block that a redstone torch, if, or if redstone is running into a block that a redstone torch is sitting on, it deactivates the torch, which deactivates what's right above it. Which de well, in this case, it deactivates the piston, which moves down the honeycomb block, releasing the water for however long the lever's down. And then stuff will flow out to you. And there's a wandering trader over here. How do you do, sir? With these right here, it's the honey combs. It's not really for the the honey bottles. Like they just go out. They're they're most likely to go into the water stream. The honey combs, however, they just scatter everywhere. Like on another world, I did. Um, when I when I use this, they kind of just scattered out here. And I kind of fixed that by putting a layer of ice under it. And then water's flowing right here to push this to push them into the water stream. Then they land on here, and this is where like, ooh, this one just got to level four. Um, this is where you really can't use a water stream because water and redstone don't mix, which is is kind of kind of like I almost placed it up here once. I did place it up here once while building it, and everything got destroyed, and I had to replace everything. But all is good now because everything's fixed and everything's working. 
Now we just need this lamp to light up and we are good to go for harvest. Before we get there, the water stream, when it lets go, it pushes everything to about right here, which turns it this way, pushing the blocks, or pushing the honey stuff. No, go in there. Don't go in there. Pushes the blocks this way, so that'll have honeycombs. Now, I kind of misbuilt this thing, but I kind of improvised to make stuff better. You can close it in two more blocks, uh, which make it just have one stripe down the middle that can go down. But this one, I kind of, well, messed up on it and made it two blocks too wide. So I just kind of did this, and it'll flow out. And this fence is here so the bees can't escape. I had one escape. I actually had three escape in my other world, and it wasn't very good. Now the bees are out. It's daytime now. Um, so, oh, that honey, that, that hive is filled up. It is time for harvest, guys. Let's see how this works. So guys, if we go to the front, all these lamps are lit up. So if we pull this lever, tick delays go out. These two stay on because the lever is powering it. Oh, oh my gosh, here come the honeycombs. And the honey bottles seem to have not made it. But if we go over here to everything, we see that the honey bottles got stuck. All three of them. Nope, no, no, there's one more. But what are the four? Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, all three honey bottles got stuck. Did any of the honey come to stuck? Oh, one well, flew out here. So it isn't quite perfect, but we have the water stream flowing, the honeycomb retracted, and yeah, it failed. That's why we have a door there. This is why we test. Now, a lot of people can simplify this a lot more than I can to make it work perfectly every time, but you know, not me because, well, redstone's not exactly my superpower. If you want to see people actually do rest of stuff, either watch Ethos Lab or, you know, Mumbo Jumbo. I was about to say Grian, but he only does building and he's not very good at redstone, so, yeah. And if you just flip the lever again, those lights turn off, the tick, I don't even know why I have a tick delay. It really doesn't matter, but the pistons retract, all the water retracts, and that is basically the semi-auto honey slash honeycomb farm. And now we can move on to the fully auto farm. Well guys, all I can say about this farm is if you have a lot of wood and too much iron for your own good, then you can easily make this farm. If not, just stick with the semi-auto or that one over there. But this one actually took me time to build. Inside here we have four machines and like a little ring of flowers, just some flowers down here because we have a massive system of hoppers. Uh, and all of them are connected to carry everything to this chest over here. It looks t it looks very complicated, but really all it is, it's really simple, as the title states. Simple honey can honeycomb farms. So we have <clears throat> the bee nest, and we have all the bees surrounding it. I have tested this one. Actually, I didn't really need to test it. It just worked by itself. Well, it actually counts as a test. So we have a comparator flowing out, and we have five blocks of redstone. And this comparator, it, oh, one just happened. Did you hear that? The piston shot out. Oh, let's see what's in here. Our shears. We have our shears on the side. Two things of shears and bottles. Ooh, we have a honey bottle in there. I used that one up. So it should eject it. So if we check the chest, I promise you it does work. See, we have 10 bottles of honey, 24 honeycombs, and just 10 bottles. Well, you have a door to refill stuff in the first place, so why not use it? So moving back over here, we have the observer, which is looking at this redstone block. Run out redstone block is redstone wire. So when it gets over here, this updates and the observer sees that update. This observer sees this observer update, so on and so forth, all the way over here to put um, a redstone signal in this dispenser, firing, um, firing the shears or the bottles over there, and it shoots out the honey or it shoots out the honeycombs. And it lands in the hoppers. All of these lead to this one little chest over here and that's basically how this whole system works but I don't have this much iron so I'm not going to be building anything like this anytime soon and there's been one little bee out here I have no idea what happened to it he's gone now um, but yeah this is just the machine this is about all you need for the whole machine basically it's just everything it's just the um, stained glass or whatever you want to use wool I recommend stained glass because you can see everything better but there's the observer, the observer line, the redstone, the hoppers to catch everything, put it in the chest. Nothing has happened yet because there's not a bee out here. If there were flowers and a bee, it would probably be pretty much 
probably, you know, have a lot in it. Oh, but you know what? We don't even have any bottles or shears in it, which is kind of a problem if you want to do anything like this. But guys, to wrap this thing up, this is Ball 3 Farms, get the full auto, the semi-auto, and the do-it-yourself, do everything yourself. Like I said, you guys can probably simplify this better than me because, well, I am, because I'm limited on time, and most of you out there probably don't earn as limited on time as I am. It's getting dark right now, not in Minecraft in real life. And I kind of need to get a video out before, you know, another month passes by. But guys, we have covered all three bee farms. Um, if you guys want to see another one of these, please comment down below. And I try my hardest to read all the comments you guys put. Um, I see a lot of better full, fully auto bee farms out there. Not bee farms, honey farms. Um, but... This is just my way, and I didn't want to copy anybody else, so this is how I made mine. It's probably not how you were going to make yours, but here are just some suggestions. If you're able to make anything any better, um, you can let me know if you want to. You know, Comment it down below. Give me some ideas for videos and for redstone projects. But guys, anyway, I believe this is the Minecraft video for today. Hopefully I can get back to uploading on a regular schedule again. Um, maybe just during the winter holidays. Thinking of doing a Christmas vlog, I uh, know I said I'm not going to do very many vlogs anymore, but a Christmas vlog is, a, a, is an exception. And with this new family friendly stuff, you know, it's not really affecting me because I'm not monetized. <laughs> Until I get a thousand subs, I'm at 33 right now. Mm -hmm. Very sad face, although you can't tell it on my character because I'm a robot. Many robots don't have emotions. But enough of me rambling, that's about it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode. See you there.